Hello, in this video, I would like to show you how to connect the Power BI desktop tool with Google BigQuery. After connecting it, we will consume predefined and uploaded CSV file data within Power BI. To connect Power BI with Google BigQuery, we need to launch first the Power BI desktop tool. After Power BI is launched, you can click on Get Data, More. You will be prompted with the possible connections. And here you can search for, for example, Google BigQuery. Let's select the first one. And here we get an initial screen. What we can do now is we can either start it in that way or we can integrate here our project ID in front and also our project ID. Let's do this. In a former video, we created a test account or trial account for Google cloud. With this, we got the first pro project name, which is my first project. And this is the ID. We can copy it out by selecting this icon, or you can also jump to the first, do my first project site and find the project ID here. Let's went back to Power BI and paste in the project ID here. Let's click OK. We will be prompted with how we would like to be signed in. Service account or with Google BigQuery. What we can do now is we can use the service account email address, which we can find in Google BigQuery. To find out this service account email address and service account JSON key file contents, we can, when, can go back to our dashboard where we find our project information, go to project settings. And under set in, settings, we have service accounts. In my former video, I showed you how to create a service account and get the key file, the JSON key file out of it. Let's copy this one to our clipboard and paste it into this area here. Additionally, what we need to have here is the JSON key file content. That means I downloaded it before. And here is the content of a key file, which I need to copy out. We paste it into this content here. Please need to be aware that you need to have one string instead of having those few lines for this new content here. To do this, we need to remove the empty fields here. Let's use it. Do it in another way. No, 
Okay, now we have everything in one line. Well, let's remove the other line. So you can copy everything and paste it here and click connect. Now you see it's waiting for Google BigQuery. And now our service is up and running. With this, you can select now under this area here, the relevant files, the data can be previewed and we can select also multiple records and click on load. We can use import or direct query. Let's use direct query. can deselect and select whatever you want. Now, here you see the result of the direct query coming from Google BigQuery. Hopefully, you, in, and you can do now all things what you would like to do with, within the visualizations with those data. I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned and subscribe my channel. Have a great day. Bye.